As you might have noticed, Vapor offers you a vanity domain for each environment you may have. Here, for example, I can quickly see my website in production using my vanity domain. Yet, as cool as they are, sometimes you want to have a real domain to show to your customers. Luckily for us, with Vapor, you can easily buy or attach a domain to an existing environment. And for that, you just need to go to Resources Domains. Now, I want to attach the domain called phpcast.dev to my environment, but I already own this domain, so I don't need to buy a new one. So let's go here to add domain because I already own this domain. The first question is my AWS account, which is the personal, and then is asking me for the domain, which is phpcast.dev. I'm going to click now on add. All right, next. We have two options now. We can attach this domain to an existing environment to deploy and then grab the DNS records we need to add manually to the DNS settings of our domain, or we can just add those four name servers to our DNS settings and let Vapor handle that for us. I think this is the easiest option, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to grab the DNS settings of my domain. I'm going to say that I want to add my own name servers and I'm going to add them one by one. All right, then I'm going to click on save. And then, of course, I'm going to consent that I want to do this update. And that's it. We don't need to handle the DNS updates anymore as Vapor will manage the DNS settings for us. All right, next. Now we need to attach this domain to our environment. Let's do that. Let's add over to our terminal, open our project, and then add the domain key to our production environment. And of course, our domain is phpcasts.dev. Once we do this, the only thing we need to do is deploy our project. So Vapor deploy production. And it looks like we are facing some problems uh, with this deployment. Uh, and basically AWS is saying that, all right, you are trying to use the domain phpcast.dev, but if you want SSL, you need to issue a new certificate for the US East One region, even if you are using a different region. So let's fix this by going to the Vapor UI and then scroll all the way down until certificates of my domain and click on request certificate. And then the first question is, what is the region you are issuing that certificate? And remember, on the console, Vapor said it requires a certificate on the region US East 1, even though you may be using different regions. So let's choose the region US East 1. Let's click on Request. And sure enough, our certificate got issued successfully. And now that we have a certificate, we can go again to our terminal and type Vapor Deploy Production. All right, looks like our environment is under deployment. And remember, our, in, our domain is actually phpcast.dev. But because our deployment is not yet completed, normally when I visit this domain right now, it should go nowhere. But soon as our deployment is completed, this exact domain should give us our website in production. And if I get back to my terminal, I can see that my deployment is now completed. So if I visit my domain, sure enough, I can see my website in production. Now, one final remark about DNS records. Remember when I have told you that because we have added the name servers to our DNS settings, we don't have to manage DNS records? Well, because we have done that, Vapor automatically added all the DNS records needed to our DNS settings. Yet, if you don't want to Vapor to manage your DNS settings, you would have to manually add those DNS records to your DNS settings manually. And that's it about uh, domains in Vapor.